Why? Hello, hello. Welcome back to another episode of The Truth Is. Hello, my name is Peyton 3.0. For those of you who don't know me, the EDM vocal sorcerer. Now, today is not about, of course, electronic dance music for this series. It's a one-off spin-off series, kind of, from like what the main channel's actual focus is. Call the truth is for those of you who are new. So if you like what you hear today, please hit your like button, comment, subscribe, all of that juicy stuff. Okay? This is for the truth seekers of all kinds. So, today's episode is called The Truth About Working, or I should say, Try to Get a Come Up Off Your Very Popular Influencer Friends or Acquaintances, aka The Pity Follow. This is the truth is. Stay tuned. So here in the picture we have two very famous relevant at the time social media influencers mainly popular from YouTube with the energy drink prime which even though i don't really care for the one on the right all that much i still decided to try the prime and it's good it does it that's the job it's supposed to do um very relevant for the time at the time of this recording these two people branching out doing their thing that when influencers who are less influential or not really that successful at all got a few followers whatever and they somehow are in the right situation at the right time in the atmosphere of a very popular successful influencer that if the influencer really likes this person or sees the potential and the person really wants to work with them and come up and all that, then the influencer may take you on, right? We've seen this happen. And this can go in one to two ways. Either that influencer's audience could really like you, really like your stuff, check you out and actually follow you and be an actual supporter of you because they really like your stuff and your stuff is in the same vein as that influencer that you are teaming up with on their content and their live streams versus the other way, which it can usually go, which is the pity follow, which is they may somewhat like you on the live streams and in that influencer's content. That's a popular influencer with anywhere from like 500,000 and above subscribers that are engaged with the content, especially if you're in the millions. But then they get to your stuff and it's not really even in the same vein as a person they watched and that you were in their content. And so they may follow you. It's more like the pity follow, but they're not really watching your content. They're not really engaging. And they might even troll you or, or leave discouraging comments because 
it's the pity follow and these people are not real supporters of you so you may get like millions of people that decide to follow subscribe to your channel or whatever but it was just because you were on the person that they liked so and that person told you to follow them and so you did what you were told but unfortunately it's not translating into lots of com positive comments it's not translating into interviews it's not translating into dollars and cents okay and it's not changing into a legitimate business which should be the end goal the end game for anybody trying to do this influencer stuff because that's the way you eventually have to play the game in order to be in this for long term nobody gets into any of these kind of platforms that are not w2 employee workers without having to go through the, bu the bureaucracy of it eventually if you become successful and people are buying things from you or youtube or somebody social media their social media is paying you any kind of way you gotta know how to, to the, you gotta know taxes you gotta know bureaucracy you gotta know all the other stuff business entities all this stuff that is available to you mainly for free that you should be learning with no excuse financial literacy for free again on youtube that you should be learning with no excuses okay because it's going to be detrimental to you to not know this stuff and you're going through your career and things are messy in the background with your finances with your tax filings but i digress Anyway, it's called the pity follow. And so this happens to a handful of the lesser known people who are just trying to get on and pop it. And listen, I understand the need for clout. I understand the need for your channel or other social medias to do well. I understand. I'm still here at the time of this recording in the dog fight with you. But I'm older. And I grew up in a time where social media wasn't even there until my late 20s. The way it was now the way that it, the, in the form it is now wasn't there to my till my late 20s folks so i was already fully formed already developed you know what i'm saying meanwhile you got the kids growing up 10, 9, 8 years old, 5, 6, 17, 15, growing up with this, not understanding what's really happening out here on these interwebs. And they're very young, under no cognition, will develop, still developing brains. They don't get all the pitfalls they can fall into. And it, it's be too late for most of them. And so this is the warning I give about working with popular YouTubers who decide to take pity on you because they may not actually really believe in you at all. 
But somehow they decide to take pity so that you're all right and they bring you on. Knowing dang well they have no actual good intentions for you. Right? So, and when you are a teenager or a kid, you don't pick up on these things easily. Your discernment muscle has not been developed. Your skepticism muscle hasn't been developed because all you can see is, is the fame, the lights, and, and, all, and all of that, and the clout. Very dangerous mix. So I'm just glad that I was born at the time I was born in, um, in in the kind of world I was born in, versus being born a little too late, get caught up young, and what the world is today with this social media crap. Okay, so. That is what I have to say for today. Let me know your two cents and your thoughts in the comment section. The goal for this video is 20 likes. Three comments, okay? 20 likes, three comments. Like, subscribe, share with your friends, comment all that now. Thank everybody else who is not into electronic dance music. If you're not into electronic dance music, I want to say thank you for coming in today. You may exit. Well, make sure you at least hit the like button. For the rest of you who are into electronic dance music, stay right here. I got the social medias for you. So you want to get those three free. <clears throat> I don't want really to care about anything else. I mean, boost my numbers up at least. But social media, when it comes to the creator and really creative freedom and expression, that's dead. So to me, social media is actually dead. I'm not in it to play these algorithm games. I'm not tracing no trends. They're not authentic to me. I'm not doing this. Once these robots came into play and they programmed these robots to do what they do, I'm just like, like, I don't want to count on social media alone to build the business that I am building. I'll put my own money where my mouth is. So that means I got to advertise, pay for advertisement. I'll do. Got an email list, get people on my email list, get people off of social media get them onto my email list okay that's my digital real estate so anyway i want you to really focus on the email list so get on my email list you go to payton30.com and again this is only for people who are really into the electronic dance music scene okay you taste it you live it you breathe it you wake up with it you're a true raver festival goer edm junkie that's who i want on the list Okay. And if you are a DJ or something listening to it who's in the EDM world, I'd rather you not subscribe to my list if you're gonna listen with musician ears. Okay? Because when you listen with musician ears, it ruins everything. And it's hard to get rid of musician ears once you get them. Versus just having regular customer raver ears basically who don't know nothing about side chains and and, and, and beat drops and 808s and synths none of that DJs none of that please don't do it don't do it I, I beg of you okay do not come into my email list because DJs have been doing this with those musician ears. You need to take those ears off and come with, if you were just a regular raver, 
who never was who never was interested in being a DJ. Cause then I'm just gonna have to get you off my list. Okay? Anyway. Peyton30.com. There's a button that you press on the first page, get straight to the point, put your email in, phone number if you want to. And as a gift from me to you, I give you three free unreleased exclusive EDM bangers. How about that? Well, all right, folks, this has been Peyton 3.0, the EDM vocal sorcerer. And I'll see you on the next episode of The Truth Is. You take care.